We're working on playing an instrument. All right. Well, thank you for. That. It, you know, it turns out that we've heard that you could go down to Texas and in search of spiritual sport and, and fly with the Free Mexican Air Force. So we went on down there and uh, went out in the middle of a field and there were a bunch of, uh, bunch of long hairs sitting in a campfire uh, searching for spiritual sport, we presumed. And so we came up upon them through the Ocotillo cactus and the Pinon pines. And uh, they barely looked up and we just, just jumped right in that fire with them and just, you know, Searching for spiritual sport, we figured we'd just join, join right in, you know. And uh, we were sitting there, uh, you know, getting into it. And uh, out from in between the Ocotillo cactus and the Pinon pines came a dude of an ombre with dreadlocks hanging down, red bloodshot rolling eyes, and smoke coming out of his ears. And he had on a he had on a beaver skin hat, leopard skin vest, and lizard skin boots, and bear skin chaps. He had endangered species all over his body. <laughs> and he took one look at us and he fell face down in the campfire and sucked up all the flames, blew out a smoke ring, spit out a live coal, looked at us and said, oh. <laughs> What are you boys? Hippies? <laughs> Howdy! Give me a good mini pearl howdy. howdy. That's what we said to him, and he just looked at us and said, Oh, sorry, bunch of them. Why don't you boys come with me and I'll teach you about the true spiritual sport. We will fly with the free Mexican Air Force. Yeah. Well, now, when he said that, we climbed out of that campfire and went on back into our L.L. Bean catalog tent and <laughs> pulled on our cotton drawstring mail order yoga trousers with the extra flap and slipped into those comfortable wooden sandals with the red rubber, red rubber spikes come up in the bottom of your feet to keep your chi, your chi moving like it is. You know, but, uh, we were ready for the spiritual sport. So we followed this dude, his name was Beauregard Hooligan, out across the bean field. Are you getting all this? It's just like, <laughs> out across the bean field to an old B-25 that was sitting there in the midnight moonlight. We climbed aboard and emotionally forward into the cold pile of seat and I felt proud. Indica, indica, indica. And, uh, hey, rap, it's been around since people took drugs. A long time ago. <laughs> We're rapping, man. What are you saying? I'm rapping too. Um, in all due respect. Um, so we uh, wandered out across the bean field to an old B-25 and 25 guys in sombreros and pajamas came out from in between the Ocotillo cactus and the Pinion pines and they pulled the blocks out from under the wheels and we started rolling down across the bean field and as we got to the end of the bean field, I noticed a dark chasm looming ahead. And since the engines weren't running, I turned to Beauregard and I said, uh, Bo, I called him Bo, this thing fly? Uh, what are you, boy? Superstitious. <laughs> well, I caught his drift as we went over the cliff at the end of the bean field, coming down through the void, not a sign of technology to disturb the ecology. <laughs> And I turned to Beauregard to express my appreciations for the Zen-like moment, and he, he just looked at me and he smiled and he said, <coughs> Dude, <laughs> you drive. I grabbed a hold of the little wheel, I pulled back, a miracle occurred, the right prop kicked in, we were spiraling upside down over the border just below the radar and just above the paraquat into the beautiful land of Mexico. <laughs> Thank you very much, and that's when the song came to my mind. <laughs> Sun. 
It's the free Mexican Air Force flying tonight In the hills of Sonoma County A cowgirl is cooling her heels Remembering that God gave us herbs and the fruits of the field But a criminal law they made out laws of those seeking light Makes the free Mexican Air Force Mescalito riding his white horse The free Mexican Air Force is flying Flying so high, I Love is blind. 